Does this look good? Or does it look like trash? Kinda looks like trash. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I figured I would do like a full glam. It's not gonna be full glam, let's be real. But I figured I would do a get ready with me because uh, Caitlin is coming over today and we're gonna do a Q&A. I'll post it on my Instagram. I should probably do that soon actually. Uh, on my stories for you guys to ask us all the questions and we'll answer all the things and do all the all the fun things. Um, but I'm getting ready for that. I also have some more con sponsored content that I need to film today. And so I was like, I might as well just do like a little get ready with me sort of video, sort of vibe. And I'm on my new camera today, which I only have one hour and 45 minutes of filming time today. So I'm going to need to speed that up. I'm going to need to speed that up. Um, but anyways, so yeah, welcome to the video. If you haven't been here before, my name is Katie Fawn and I do all types of videos these days, all types. So Let's go ahead and get ready. Okay, so I got my hair done yesterday, actually, and I love it. The hair girl that I go to, she's phenomenal. If you live in Kentucky, she's actually in Richmond, so I drove um, to see her, and I I just love her. She's an angel. She does a phenomenal job. I love her, but I have a lot of friends who do hair. Um, I've just gone to her for years and years and years. You know how it is, but anyways, I can leave her information down below if you guys want me to, but I got my hair done yesterday, and... Um, it just needs a little refresh today, like just some curls, some body, some life put back into it. So as per usual, I'm going to use um, my hot rollers. These are from Remington. Is that right? Are these Remington? Did I make that up? I'm going to be honest with you. Don't know. No, they're Remington. Um, I got these off Amazon, so I'll have those linked down below for you guys. Um, I love them. I have the T3 ones. T3 actually sent them to me. And I love those too. I just really love the Remington ones. Plus you get more. So I'm not going to do very much honestly, um, because I don't really need to and because I don't want to. I just want a little bit of volume, body, curl, etc. put back into my hair. So that's what's happening. Um, I'm going to be honest. I've had a lack of motivation recently. Not like for any reason, not because I'm like sad or something. I just have not been that motivated um, at all, which is unlike me in every aspect and way possible. And I don't, I don't like it. It's not, it's not good. And uh, so today I was like, get off your butt and do all the things you don't wanna do so that you'll be thankful that you did them later. And so I got up, I honestly had a kind of a rough morning and then I was like, whatever, I'm doing everything I need to do today so that this evening I feel like I deserve to rest. You know, you know the feeling, you know. So that's just kind of what's going on currently. But I'm going to film a ton of TikToks, a ton of videos today, and just like have content going up. Because as a content creator, it's really easy to slack off because it's your job where you determine how many hours you work and like what you do. And if you don't have a lot of self-discipline, which I do have a lot of self-discipline, but it's just been, I don't know, hard to come by these days. Um, anyways, so that's kind of where I'm at. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm feeling, etc. So, but anyways, I'm going to finish putting these in my hair and then I will start on my makeup, which is going to be really simple and not too dramatic, but just enough to like make me feel better about my appearance. Okay, bestie girls and boys. So I took my hair down. I guess I should show you that. I took my hair down and it looks stunning. I love it so much. This is it. Uh, the dimension, everything that Kira did yesterday to my hair just looks phenomenal, and I'm so well pleased with it. I also have on the Aritzia TNA jumpsuit, or the romper. Um, I love it. I'm going to do my makeup. My skin has been acting plum foolish recently. I've just had, like, a ton of breakouts down here, but it's honestly looking, like, fine right now. I'm not fine, but better. It's looking better. Thank God. So, I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup, make myself feel cute, and then get ready for the day. I have a full day of filming. Also, look what happened yesterday. I'm so sad about it. My Krista blush from um, Benefit, my literal brand new blush. I picked it up, didn't even drop it, dropped it literally nowhere. It just came out of the pan and busted everywhere. And I tried to fix it. I tried to like press it back in, but it just ain't working. It just is not working. And it makes me really sad because I love this blush and I've been using it every day and now it's already pigmented anyways but now if I like even dip my brush in it then it's just exploding so but I'll show you guys how I've been doing my makeup and all that kind of stuff um today I'm doing really light makeup also I think that one thing that may have been breaking me out was the um 
Kosas concealer. Like, I love that concealer, the Revealer concealer, but I think it may have been breaking me out. And that is not the vibe. So, I'm going to be using this one. This is the one that I showed in one of my other videos. Um, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. And I, it's not even really a concealer. It's just, a, it just brightens under my eyes, which is really all that I want. Um, for my skincare, I can do a separate skincare video of, like, the skincare I do whenever my skin's acting foolish. Um, if that's something that you all would be interested in seeing. But, uh, I love this so much. It's a phenomenal product. And I have mine in the shade light 26 in so i always get a really light shade in my concealers or anything going under my eyes because i'm like i just want it i just want it to be cute you know and not not match my skin tone i want it to be bright under there um also if you watch my tiktok i talked about using this the charlotte tilbury Flawless, hollywood flawless filter focus i talked about using this um in the shade 7 as like my bronzer or as like a base for my bronzer and I still love that but like on light light makeup days like today where I'm just barely putting anything I don't use it like that's for like if I'm doing something you know so on days like today I'll just go in with my bronzer and this is really not even a bronzer it's my Dior powder you guys know in the shade 5 in I've used it a thousand and ten times and I will continue to use it probably till the day I die and that's just that also fun fact I was looking back at my pictures and there was like this specific week to like two weeks that I was filming and like living my life and my skin just looked so good and I looked just like I just looked good you know like you guys were commenting and you were like dang Katie like you look good and I was like thank you so much but also I was like dang why do I look so good like what is it I've never looked this good in my life like I know I didn't just all of a sudden change my everything like how do I look like this and I got to thinking about it, and I was like, what was I doing? And um, it was this makeup, like this exact makeup every day if I was wearing makeup. And it was ice rolling my face in the mornings. Every morning I would get up and ice roll my face. And I was just like, dang, I need to ice roll my face today. And so I did. I ice rolled this morning. I can link the roller that I use. It's on Amazon. It comes with like two heads, so you can like always keep them frozen. Or if one's, you know, melting, then you can freeze the other. Um, but anyways... So I ice rolled my face this morning and didn't think anything about it. I was like, you know, just ice rolling. Normal, normal girl things. And I'm telling you what, if my face doesn't look better today than it has the past few days. I don't know what the heck it is about ice rolling. I really don't. But I'm telling you right now, it's worth the hype. And my ice roller, I think, was $10. So, go buy it. I think it's just really good for getting, like, the inflammation out of your face and out of your, um... I guess really just your face. I kind of use it on my neck sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, but not necessarily. So. That's that. I'm putting this on the Morphe and Ariel A14 brush. This is the one that I use for like nose contour and then into my crease just because I like to add a little something something. Okay. I want to use my Krista blush because I love it so much, but I'm also slightly terrified. I don't know. I'm going to use the Camila. You all already know the Stila Stay All Day in the shade Camila. She's been through some things, okay? She's been to war and back and did it again. Um, also, I know I've talked about this. The Kristen Dominique, um, Dominique Cosmetics The Moment palette. It's so stunning. Like, so stunning. I need to use it. I bet James would love this. I need to get her to try it out. She always wears eyeshadow and I'm just like, like, we're so the same person, but also could not be more opposite, if that makes sense. Like, we just are the same, but completely different. So, that's that. Um, I am going to use this blush, but I'm just going to use a tint. Look at that. Like, how much pigment came off on that brush. Mm. Anyway, hit my cheeks a little bit. You guys know that I love the blush. Also, I am filming with my new camera, so let me know if you like the quality or if you think it looks good. I have to, like, play around with it and see what I like and what I don't like and also just how to use it. I love this. Like, I just love... There's something about the way that this powder performs on bare skin 
versus just like whenever you put something underneath it because if I put something underneath it like the Hollywood Flawless Filter it's almost as if I can't mix the two like I need to use this or this and not use them together and so I've kind of been like playing around with that till I can get the perfect like concoction of whatever it is okay so now I'm going to oh wait I was going to use a different eyeliner today or not eyeliner but a different mascara today I'll go get that you all know that I love the L'Oreal Telescopic. I use it all the time. But um, Hourglass makes one that I used to use. And then I got James using it and she loves it. And it is the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. And they sent me a huge PR package. So I need, I need to use that. I also love the fact that this mascara is... Um, what is it called? It's a tubing mascara. So anytime you get it like under warm water, she said that she had never used one before. So, and I was like, you will love it because anytime you get it under warm water, uh, it just literally comes right off. Like you don't have to scrub your eyes or anything. It just melts right off your eyeballs. It's one of the craziest experiences of, of life. It's like right up there next to childbirth. It's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, I am going to use my eyeliner, obviously. This is the, everybody asked me about this and I think it's so funny. It's the classic eye powder pencil in the shade brown um, from Charlotte Tilbury. And I have used quite a bit of it, as you can see. Like it's, she's, she could be bigger. She's not though, cause she's been used a lot. Um, but it's just this one. And I sharpened it yesterday and I just smudge it. I do not do it like very precisely at all. I do it on the bottom and the outer third of my eye on both eyes. And then once I have my mascara and stuff on, sometimes I'll go in and make the lines a little bit thicker or create a wing or something like that. Okay, so there's that. I curled my lashes earlier and so I'm not gonna curl them again and I'm just gonna do probably a coat or two of this. The only thing with this formula is that it is wet. Like it's a very wet formula. So you have to work quickly with it if you want it to, I don't know, like, I don't want to say it gets clumpy quick. It's just, it's one of those mascaras you have to figure out how to use it. And you'll figure it out with like the first two times of using it. Um, but it does make your lashes look fake. Oh, James. Okay, so you can see. Looks pretty good. I'm going to finish my eyes and then come back. Okay, I finished my um, mascara, obviously, and I've been doing my brows. I am using right now the Persona Swipe Up um, Brow Gel. It's this one. I filled them in with the Sephora Collection, the one that I always talk about. Thank oh, thank you very much. You're um, the Sephora Collection Brow Pencil, and then I go over it with... Usually the Fawn Beauty um, that hasn't come out yet, eyebrow gel. And then if I want just a little bit more color, like I just want a little something something, then I'll put in the Swap Up Gel, which I really like. Okay, so for the lip combo today, I think I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I also have some sneaky sneaky lip liners here. What the heck? Anyways, I have some sneaky sneaky lip liners and I'm going to use Iconic Nude today. I swear, this lip pencil, me and Caitlin always talk about it, it goes missing. Like, 99% of my life is just missing. Like, I just do not have it. Uh, and then it'll show up out of absolutely nowhere. And I'll be like, oh, there's my iconic nude lip pencil. I'm more of a horse girl. You're a horse girl. <laughs> You're cute, that's what you are. I know that, thanks. And then I'm going to use a combination of these two. Um, why is this not... A combination of these two uh, lip oils. I couldn't think of the word to save my life. This is the no, no. this is um, that's amazing. And then this one's the limited edition coconut one. I like to put this one in the center because it's got like the really pretty milky pink color, um, which obviously I love. There's a hair on mine. Perfect. Anyway, it's got a pretty mil milky pink color and looks stunning. That really is pretty. I know, right? I feel like it just makes your lips like immediately just plump and juicy and like phenomenal. Like I love that. But then I go in with the coconut one and go on the outer outer portion of my lips. Because I like to have that like 
a little bit of a bronze look. So I take like the tip of it and just... I made a whole video on this if you guys want to watch it. It's like the best lip combo of all time. I use a different liner, but really any liner works. It's just the technique of doing the darker on the outer corner and then using the milky pink in the middle. And I there's only one other lip gloss that I know of that has like that milky pink shade. And it's from Chanel. And I have it, but I like my formula obviously better. Like a heck of a lot better. So, that's that. Is there anything else I want to do? I think that I'm going to take... Um, I think I'm going to take this. I always take the, like a light shade. And I'm going to put it on the inner portion of my eye. Like the inner third and not in the crease at all. So that it's just bright right there. And catches the eye. I'm coming to the beach party. Yes, I am. Yeah. And then... Add a little bit more bronzer. This camera is different because rather than the other one that I had, the Canon, the um, flip up screen was on top of it. So even if I was like looking at myself and using the viewfinder, it didn't look like that. But this one, it's on the right. So if you see me like looking to the right, it's so I can see myself. I held that up. I held that up and <laughs> upside down. I was just noticing that a minute ago. You were? She didn't. Is she going to like get eyeshadow from the mirror? <laughs> Maybe, huh? Yeah, because it's like it closes and they touch. Yeah. So that's like... Where in the world is my eyeliner? I think I'm going to add a little bit more eyeliner if I can find the daggum thing. <laughs> it's so little. There it is. I just like kind of reassess my whole makeup look or like how I'm looking and I'm like, okay, what do I need that's going to make me pop more, make my eyes pop more? <laughs> and I think I just need a little bit more of a wing. And now you can get yourself a cat wing with... Um a spoon or a piece of tape like you tape it right here and then go i saw that i used to do that back in the day really yeah in high did school. it work yeah it does work Ooh, do it to me later okay anyway i just added on a little bit to give myself like not necessarily a cat eye but just a little wing thanks squish i'm the best you in the world you besides are. you i mean if you are like a For the you're side. papa your own model she told me that that is so sweet of her you might be mine someday. Someday. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is the final look. My hair is large and in charge. Can I show my hair? Yes, in just one second. Okay. Anyways, that's the kind of like look I've been going for every day. If mm -hmm. I do my hair, this is how I do my hair. The only thing is, is like sometimes I'll put on, well, not sometimes. Usually I do put this on. I talked about this in like a million, ten videos. The Persona Cosmetics Bubble. I just love Persona Cosmetics and I've talked about them a hundred times. But specifically Bubble just to like put on, um, under your eyes, honestly, right here. It just looks stunning and, and brings everything together. One of the things I wanted to address though is like, I don't know if this is like my body just changing or what in the world's going on, but my eyes are increasingly turning blue. Like I'm really not sure what to think about it. They really are kind of. I know. Uh, like yesterday I was getting my hair done and like in all my pictures, my eyes just like look blue and I've had green eyes forever. Whenever I was a baby and I was, you know, like fresh out the womb, I had blue eyes. But then um, after that, my eyes have just been green and like hazel. But my eyes have been looking very blue recently. And I just do not know about that. I just don't know. But anyways, that's that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's just a quick little like get ready with me. How I've been doing my makeup. How I feel like the most confident in my makeup and what I think looks really good on my um on my skin tone on my body just like all the things so that's that Anna Claire my little sister wants to show you something before I peace out but if you haven't already make sure to like and subscribe before you leave because it really supports my channel <laughs> and leave recommendations for uh, video ideas down below because these days I'm open to doing anything whether it's fitness content or vlog content or just like health fitness stuff or, or literally whatever if it's makeup if it's fragrance whatever so that's that thank you guys so much for watching like I said I hope you enjoyed um and here is Anna Claire here, I'll turn it towards you. Stunning. This is not my real hair. This is... She um, dyed her hair yesterday with Kool-Aid, and she is mighty proud of it. And I did that once upon a time whenever I was in, I believe, middle school. And um... Now she's an old woman. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, <laughs> peace out. <laughs>